M0FXB. So we've just done the firmware upgrade 1.1.14. 1 just showing you that the SWR meter does work now. And it, actually, when I whistle it, it, it goes a bit higher. Watch this. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo test. The tuner's working good. I'm sure there's more color in that scope. Watch this. Look at the scope close up. Let's zoom in. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, M0 FXB test. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, calling for a contact. M0 FXB. It seems to be more color in there, unless it's just me thinking it. Anyway, <clears throat> SWR wise, let's get the, the tuner going and watch what happens here. See, it's now doing what it used to do. Now, there's a lot more functions um, that have been changed. I'm just going to read through them now. I mean, I'll put the list in the description anyway, but let's uh, let's just go through them one at a time. So, number one is add FFT peak hold switch, GEN display settings, FFT PK hold. So, let's have a look. So, general settings, which is this one here. Then we go to display like so and see this one here um let's just well there it is there ffk peak pk hold i mean i'm sure this one's new is that new no not sure <laughs> anyway we're doing a lot of guesswork here so anyway fft pk hold so let's select it and put it up here um so we can turn it on rf fft average and if we turn it now is it the sort of thing that only you see when you're transmitting? Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, test, M0 FXP, test. One, two, one, two, one, two. Anyway, again, you can see those little colours in that scope, which I do like. So anyway, it is there. So number two, fix bug, gateway, can't save in wireless LAN setting page. So let's go and have a look at that. So we'll go radio settings, is it? Let's get it right. <laughs> So, uh, system settings, we'll go to wireless LAN with the MFK knob, just go back, got Nico in the background, um, hit wireless LAN, uh, let's turn it on by doing config, no that takes us down the menu, sorry, go back to the top, edit, right, turned it on, little Nico okay let's see what happens so hmm there you are oh it is different so we haven't put our password in we've got some numbers here that are more recognizable I would say let me get my password in there give me a minute okay well we've got our uh, we've got it connected these are the numbers that are showing we've got auto connect it looks good to me so um yeah let's just go down because there's so much to look to look at here so let's exit <coughs> back on here so next one number three change rx volume from 0 to 50 to 0 to 55 db more than the previous version i agree that when it was fully loud yeah i agree it's definitely going louder but the main thing was when you were in, when you turn the filter on, it's on now, you couldn't get it very loud. Yeah, so it still distorts a bit. But I would say you do have the ability to go louder. So if you've got an external speaker, I think that would work well. So yeah, thumbs up for that one. Right, next one is um, change CW decoders threshold to a higher level, better robustness, but needs higher SNR not sure what that means but we'll just go to CW a minute give me a chance to find one right we've got some CW let's just go we're in CW mode we'll go to app modem uh, choose CW um, and the rate we'll do it I think a bit faster sounds more like 25 so, well, we're doing it, so let's give it a minute to uh, see if it gets anything. Well, I've had it on for a minute or so. The tone's off. We're in CW mode. Rate is 25. Nothing's happening on the screen, so other people let me know 
if you get the same result but as far as I can see the decode app isn't decoding okay so let's move on to the next one calibrate the RX meter giving more accuracy where we you know we can't really test that um, number six add ALC level indicator at the top right of the band scope area below the TX power so well that's interesting so you're telling me we've got a different little scope here um, not really sure on that let's come back into general I mean it's looking great the screen's looking great so let's read that again add ALC level indicator at the top right of the band scope area or oh, top right of the band scope area um, below the TX power strings so you tell me is that this figure here where it says O 100 dBm is that what that is could be could be that bit of uh, green text that you're getting about here right next one optimize the, f f the FW flashing firmware flashing logic based board will boot up itself after the flashed firmware okay so does that just mean that we don't have to run that second bit where you click firmware upgrade oh, I did do that so the base version is 1.1.4 let's have a look what it's what it's written on what's written on here let's have a look so we go menu let's back out of the go general system settings firmware I know system info yeah so I might have written it wrong in the, in the, in the description I'll change that 1.1.4 February the 15th is what it says and the 16th so, okay you know what that says now Next one, um, fix bug built in mic feedback to speaker sometimes. Yeah, that's definitely true. So, should we try the built in mic? Let's have a go. Let's go to the built in mic, uh, like so. And then you've got mic select. We'll move the MFK, we'll turn it to built in. We'll even unplug the the other foot the other one we'll go back out and we'll turn the speaker up and then we'll go m0 fxb test mike zero fox x-ray bravo test okay and it says digi there let's get it into lsb mike zero fox x-ray bravo test now oh, that's working now m0 fxb yeah, see the colour when you TX? M0 FXB test, Mike Zero Foxtrot X ray Bravo. Yeah, I would say that's a thumbs up so far. Right, it says here fixed bug, baseboard, sometimes not booting at power on. Okay, it seems okay. Optimize ALK algorithm, fair enough. Optimize SWR algorithms, less, less jumping around, seem fine. Optimize switching power synchronization algorithm less birdies. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> they must have been reading all the different videos we've been making about birdies. Um, the birdies thing was really happening when there was no antenna connected. So let's take the antenna off. And what was happening when we were tuning, we would find, especially under 7.100, we would find lots of weird things. So that does seem better, doesn't it? I mean, there's something here and here. But, yeah, I, th I think it's better. Antenna back on for now. Right, um, tips. Alk level equal to zero over driving. Decrease input signal level. Alk level EQ to 100 under driving. Increase input signal level. When doing digi, the audio baseband signals are almost constant amplitude. Adjust the sound card volume to make ALC level between 20 to 80. So that seems okay. The only thing I have found is the fact that I, I don't think the CW was working. I'm going to read further down here. Uh, upgrade, log. Now that's the older version. That's 1.13. So I think overall, I think everything seems okay with 1.1.4. But let's do that CW again. 
CW, app, modem, CW, and let's go down to some CW here. Right, let's give that a couple of minutes and let's see if it starts to decode. So as far as I can see, it's not decoding. Let's just put it on BPSK just to see if it does that. Same with, there's nothing coming in at all for BPSK. Let's hit RTTY. Let's just check my squelch. Uh, squelch is zero. RF gains. Ah, we've got something coming in on RTTY now. I'm just expecting to see something. All right, let's wait a bit longer on CW. So, as far as I can see, the decoding app isn't working. Let's check the SWR scan. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, SWR scan seems fine. So we can exit out of that, like so. Um, key, CW seems the same. Filters. Yeah, and these filters, that all seems fine. Let's hit the app again, app, modem. Come on then, give us some decode, what a shame. As far as I could see, everything was good except for that. Da-di-da-da-da-da-di-da, CQ, CQ. I am learning CQ. Da-da-da, oh. It's too fast for me. This all looks good on the on the uh, the scope. That all looks good. Everything looks fine. I can't I haven't seen anything I don't like. It's just that thing with the um, what do you call it? The Wi-Fi seems improved. Let's just do Bluetooth. Let's go back to general menu, and then we'll go uh, like so. System, we'll go to Bluetooth. I didn't say they've done anything on that. We all know we want them to get it to pick to send out some audio. Right, well, so we've got my little. Is it BT10? Anyway, the one that comes with Yesu. It's found it. Let's connect. Um, and let's see if we can hear any audio from it. It's a bit dark here, isn't it? Give that a minute. Right, paired, connected, let's have a listen. Mix it as well. Yeah, so we're paired and connected, but no, we, there's no audio coming from it. So I think that ends it. I'll just go back in again on that modem give him one last chance look we start getting the rsa here uh we'll go to cw and let's just hope it starts to work i'm going to leave it for five minutes and then i'm going to end the video well I'll run it for a few minutes and it's, it's definitely not decoding so uh we'll post this video and let's see what feedback we get from other people that are testing this so give us a give us a message and it, and let me know what your findings. Seven three, all the best. M zero FXP. Please like and subscribe to my channel.